Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas. Happy December everybody. Um, today I'm actually going to go to the Dandelion and Dogwood headquarters, <laughs> which is my sister's house, and package lots of yarn orders. And then I need to run a few errands that I'm hoping will kind of get me in a bit more of a festive mood because so far I'm not, I'm not feeling very Christmassy and I know it's only the 1st of December, but normally by this point, I think I am. So that is the plan and I will bring you along with me. So I popped on my Clandon sweater today. This is the Kiki Delane colorway one that I knit first. Um, and my friend described these once as baubles. <laughs> so now I feel like this is really Christmassy. <laughs> So I am going to get packaging and popping these in because it's Christmas. So this year, as part of our Christmas collection, we are going to have these again. We had them last year, but in very limited numbers. Well, they'll always be in very limited numbers because self-striping yarn is just a very limited numbers kind of thing. Um, so it's 80 grams of self-striping with a 20 gram coordinating mini. And they come in these little boxes with the little lights in that you can pop on their battery lit and then you can hang it on your tree. This one is, is it written on here yet? No, we haven't written it on there. It's um, Bottle Brush Christmas Tree Self Striping. I'm actually knitting a pair of socks at the moment with our very Casey Christmas Self Striping, so I will show you those later. These are sock sets for my friend Jules's pattern, St. Nick Socks which are a DK sock, kind of like a vanilla DK sock, but then at the top, you've got the like boucle fluffiness. So there, her ones were red, and then they had this, and then last year I caked up this, but on sparkle to do a Mrs. Santa Claus take on them. So then we've popped these kits in the shop, um, and this one is Snow Globe. This one's treats from Narnia. So yeah, super, super, super cute sock pattern. And this is our Frosty Panes and Candy Canes yarn, which was the main skein for our advent calendar two years back or three, three years back. And um, it self stripes as you knit it up onto socks. So you get stripes of the blue and then stripes of the like pinky, red and white. And it looks so pretty. So um, yeah, that's Frosty Panes and Candy Canes. And what else have we got here? Oh, these were um, these were a mini set that went with some bags we had last year. I still have my bag, the Tree Lights bag. Um, so I think you've probably seen it on Instagram and stuff. But um, yeah, this is a mini skein set that matched those. This is a mini skein set that matches our other Christmas bag, which has the bottle brush Christmas trees on, but like the soft pastely Christmas colours. And oh, this is called The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. We went to um, a National Trust, my husband and my boys and me, a couple of weeks back called Mottis Font, and it's house was shut the big house was actually shut because they were decorating it for christmas and the whole of the theme for this year was going to be um the lion the witch and the wardrobe themed so like a really 1940s christmas so i really can't wait to go back and see inside the house and see what they've done for that but um yeah, i love that one this is a super long-standing colourway of ours called iced cinnamon stars and i believe actually this began as an advent calendar colourway that we then made into a main skein for the shop so yes it makes me want to eat them <laughs>
of yarn and now it's time to go and wake up that baby and head out. And in my workroom, our trip out was a little bit of a bust <laughs> in terms of Christmas spirit because we went to HomeSense and it was a jumble sale in there. It was such a mess and it didn't feel Christmassy or festive at all. <laughs> and there wasn't really anything in that spirit at all. But I did get the bits that I kind of wanted to get. So I've recently changed my storage in here. That used to be a cube storage unit with big baskets in that just wasn't optimal for what I was actually keeping in them. It meant that every time I wanted to try and find something, I had to empty every basket because I could never remember which was in what was in which basket and you couldn't see what was at the bottom of the baskets until you'd empty them all out. So anyway, I changed it out for one of these mustard lockers, which I love and which also incidentally are really really good with babies because they lock so not that johnny really spends much time in my workroom but we have them elsewhere in the house and they are they're really good and they're really uh customizable inside because you can have extra shelves you can have hanging rails you can move the positions of the shelves so you've got like deep shelves or shallow shelves anyway so really happy with it but I wanted some nice big baskets to keep on top with sort of bigger stuff that I don't need to access as often. So I picked up these beautiful baskets in HomeSense, which I'm really, really happy with. And I think they're gonna fit really nicely. I think what I'll do is I'll put the big one lengthwise and then the smallest one sort of coming out this way. And I think they should both fit really, really well. And then I will use this medium sized one somewhere else. And whilst I was in there, I picked up the little hot chocolate pan that I had been thinking about ever since I was there in October because I wanted to get it. And then I thought, no, I don't need that. I can just heat the milk up with my coffee machine, but actually it, it's really pesky, the milk frother on my coffee machine and irritating. So I thought this is super cute and it was induction safe we had so many pretty uh like pale blue le creuset pans which we then switched for an induction hob and they don't work anymore so this was anyway it was a bargain and it's really sweet and it's induction friendly and it's a really good little size just for heating up some hot chocolate so i will test that out this evening on jack and myself i think i'll make us some peppermint hot chocolate and I needed sieves because I don't know about anyone else, but the handles on mine just seem to constantly fall off. And these were gold, so I thought that was really pretty. And I use them all the time for baking, so I picked those up. And then I just picked up a couple of little gifts, which I really, really like. But I'm not going to show them in too much depth in case... The recipients happen to be watching <laughs> so anyway i'm going to pop these baskets up on the shelf and then i'm i don't know what i'm going to do next i'm either going to work a bit on the coat that i'm making possibly walk the dogs it's really kind of you can't really see it's really misty or i might go and get a little christmas tree from they've got them just at the local shop that are in a pot that i can put on the table so johnny won't be able to reach it we can position it so he can't get to it so i may do that but we shall see let's see about getting these baskets in place first <laughs>